What's up everybody, MacBoy here. Today, I'm going to be doing a very unique tutorial which I haven't done in a while. And that is showing my top 5 favorite menu bar apps. And um, just to let you know, I'm going to be ripping through, through these applications because I do not want to bore you on explaining them and telling, and telling you guys an essay on what they do and, and how they work. So I'm going to be do, saying this quick and fast. I know I get bored when I watch these kind of videos and they're really, really long. So without any further ado, let's get started right after this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, at number 5 in my menu bar, it's the application called Instant Shot and the icon is right here where my mouse cursor is. Instant Shot. Alright, what this does is it takes a screenshot of your screen on your Mac and instead of you having to do the keyboard, it gives you much much more options and let me show you what it does. Okay, you can shoot the whole screen to a JPEG file, a PNG file, to a TIF file, or to the clipboard. You can also shoot an instant rectangle anywhere you want. You can set it where if you want. Shoot with the timer if you want to record if you want to record a video or if you're going to go to Safari, whatever you want to do with the timer. Start multiple shots if you want to make a frame or if you want to make a video and you want to have multiple frames in that. And these are the four major functions of instant shot. You can also uh, say show background window which shows the background window and has all the preferences you can change and whatever you want. So let's take um, shoot an instant rectangle to a PNG file, click on that. Now you, it gives you a little bottom left option over here that's hovering over everything. You can select a window, like my mouse over just went over the dock and it automatically selected it in red. Or you can just click hold and drag on your desktop like or on your menu bar, whatever you want to do on your desktop, just like that let go and it gives you that little sound and it's on your desktop right here PNG very nice quality and so easy to use that's instant shot number four on the list guys is jump cut uh, I already went through this application in my previous videos but this is a very very unique application I love this application all it does is it keeps track of your clipboard meaning everything you copy the past hundred items whatever you want to set it to it keeps it track of it so if you copy URL and then you, and you need it for later, and you copy something else over it, you know you can't find that URL again, uh, what are you going to do? So this is where Jump Cut comes in. You can just scroll down uh, to whatever URL, whatever text you need, uh, and then have your cursor into the text field on your browser, wherever, and then just paste it. There's the URL right there, and I've got the URL. All right, Jump Cut, very nice application. Okay, number three on the list is Caffeine. I've also gone through this before, but caffeine is a very nice application and it helps you when you are watching movies or watching videos on YouTube, long videos um, especially, because I have set my sleep timer on my Mac to one minute. So every time my mouse or keyboard is inactive for one minute, my computer goes to sleep. And uh, I don't like that when I'm watching videos because my mouse and keyboard are inactive and then my screen goes dim. And I'm like, shit, then I have to move the mouse. And it's really annoying. So all you do is you click on this caffeine application right here and your screen does not dim. Basically, it's showing that your Mac goes on caffeine and it's high on sugar and it's not going to go to sleep, all right? Number two on the list is Weatherbug for Mac. Um, just like the name says, it tells you the weather of your current location. So I, I've got set it to Toronto. And right now it is 29 degrees Celsius, and you can set it wherever you want to. Um, not just the current time, it also tells you, the, tells you the forecast. You can do that by going to the drop down menu, clicking forecast, and it takes you to the website and tells you the weekly forecast, five day forecast. And um, very nice application whenever you need to know the weather of the next day or the whole week, I can just use it and it works fine for me. And number one on the application, I've already done this, guys, but I'm going to mention this one more time is iStat Menus, my favorite application, favorite menu bar application of all time. And what this does is it displays different system stats of your Mac. Right now, these two bar graphs that you're looking here, not bar graphs, but these graphs you're looking here is my CPU processing usage, uh, meaning this is showing how much my CPU is processing at 
the moment live and it shows a bunch of things I'll actually go to the uh, menu right here the system panel and CPU I've got it it says it's monitoring the CPU usage you have memory you have drives you have network temperatures fans and power Bluetooth date and time health and that's it that's a lot of information you can just put in your menu bar I'll click on monitor the temperatures and it comes up right here my temperature of a Mac um, 41 degrees Celsius alright I'm just gonna hit that off and that's it top five menu bar apps guys thank you very much for watching um, once again you can download all of these applications from the link in the description from the links in the description of this video which is to the right of this video and guys, if you did like this video, if it did help you out, if you learned something new, if it made you smile, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video and channel. And guys, to the right of this video, other than the links, you will find the link to my Twitter, the link to my blog, and the link to my business email, uh, where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Once again, I'll see every single one of you next time on MacBoy Productions.